The Pacers and Fever are both heading to Florida this week as each of their leagues get ready for a summer start. For the Fever, it's a trip going later than expected. Brad Brown explains in tonight's Sports Extra Spotlight. With Banker's Life Fieldhouse under construction, the Fever were all set to play this summer at Hinkle Fieldhouse. A lot of great things, I think, from the organization side. You know, the coaching staff has been great you know, with all the highs and lows and everything that we've been dealing with, as we all have been dealing with. But like most everything else this spring, those plans never even got a chance. Finally, it, I, I see the end. I see the light at the end of the tunnel, and so I'm excited. The coronavirus detour will be sending the fever and the entire WNBA to Bradenton, Florida. The prestigious IMG Academy will be the host campus for the revamped season. I think we have a chance to uh, be very good this year, and I also think we have an, an opportunity to, to get better each and every time we hit the floor. I think that will be really telling in terms of our overall success. How much can we improve from day to day, from game to game? New head coach Marianne Stanley sees this as just another challenge in trying to bring the franchise back from the bottom. Everybody has managed uh, the, the curveballs and the changes really, really well. I mean, all of you have done so in your lives, and, and I'm sure you can appreciate how difficult uh, this has been on players who were anxious to get started you know, quite some time ago. The Fever's rookies and veteran additions have been working out in Indy the past couple of weeks. There is a lot of potential with each group. We are a relatively young team. I mean, if you take that leadership off the top, we're a real young team. So I think the blend is nice. Okay, we're kind of getting the best of both worlds. But having most of the roster back from a year ago uh, is significant. The WNBA is dedicating its season to social justice initiatives. Fever players and staff have been active in the local Black Lives Matter movement, hoping to make an impact far beyond basketball this summer. You know, we've been really blessed, I feel really blessed to be in an organization that everybody supports us. And from our side, from the Patriot side, really making sure that our voices, our player voices are heard. And so the next step is, you know, really trying to figure out what it is that the players want to do. We, we understand that we know it's going to be very unique, but I think it's really a big opportunity. It's an opportunity as a league, it's an opportunity for us to, you know, do things that maybe we wouldn't have been able to do before. Monday, we got news that two Fever players tested positive for COVID-19, the unnamed pair among seven league-wide. That means the team's departure for Florida has been delayed until the end of this week. The rest of the teams arriving down in Bradenton on Monday and Tuesday. The WNBA has yet to announce any specific dates for the season restart down there for this summer, but it is expected that games will begin in Florida the final week of July. Brad Brown, RTV Sports.